Hello, YouTube friends. I got a, um, a nice comment from a viewer for my last um, Coach Upcrafted video. So I thought we could look at the new ones that they have. So on coach.com, you go to the Coach Reloved section, and then you have Coach Upcrafted. So we're going to explore that now. and see what they have okay so here we have a tate 18 crossbody upcrafted and it looks like they've just stuck some little um just little charms on the front some hearts a key a star <clears throat> that's not uncute but it doesn't make it 625 dollars worth of cute if you know what i mean i mean I just got the tape, the big one for 200. So 625 for the little one, just because you've added some bling is not good. Oh, here's a lovely one. Upcrafted belt bag, which means we took some wristlets that wouldn't sell and we stuck them on a belt. That's no, no. $395. <laughs> I swear I have seen both of these little items that looks like the phone wristlet and then the little kiss lock. I think I've seen both of those on the outlet site for probably under a hundred dollars. So sticking them on a belt does not make it $400 worth. Oh no, that poor beat shoulder bag. I know it's supposed to say coach, but it's just really, really ugly. That star does not make it an A. What is that hanging off of the C there, that little tassel? $795. <laughs> no. And now you've got all the embellishments on the front of the flap. So when you open it, you have a bunch of stuff in there. Let's look at that closer. There's another C charm on the side there. Okay. But all that stuff is showing on the inside of the flap now. Mm -mm -mm. No, let's go back and see what else they have. <clears throat> a kit messenger. Looks like they've put some catfish whiskers on it. Another beat with rivets. That one's okay. The Brit wristlet bag in color block. So you took a wristlet and you stuck a rogue handle <laughs> on the top of it. So ugly. It's so out of proportion. If the wristlet part was bigger, it might look more like, oh, I can see that. So you've got a chain strap and now you've got this giant rogue handle on the top of it. That's so ugly. $295. Okay. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay. I'll skip that beat one. This the upcrafted field tote with the little pouch on the outside. So we're not gonna give you a pouch on the inside anymore. We're gonna slap one on the outside, but it's got the flocked uh, stripes. So now you're blocking the flocking <laughs> with the pouch. <laughs> At least this one's straight. I will give it that. Oh, they give you a second pouch inside. How generous. That is the stupidest looking thing. And it's yellow and it doesn't, it doesn't match. I could see almost if they took the burgundy one that went with it and put that on the outside that maybe that would make a little bit of sense, but that's no. And how much? 650. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. These are kind of normal. I won't laugh at those. These are okay too. Was that the worst of it? Uh, that's almost cute. The Madison with the, um, little appliques sewn into the puffy quilting because it kind of makes a little imprint. That's kind of cute. Oh, here's another of my favorites. Okay. The little Creed patches would almost be cute if they'd sewn them on straight. They're all kind of crooked. This upcrafted Tyler carry all $625. So 
this looks like, again, that I have improperly stored my SLGs with my bags and it's stuck on the front. And then they leave the little wristlet strap on, which just kills me. <sighs> Why? Why do they think that adds value to this? It looks so much worse than either of them would separately. You know what I mean? These look kind of normal. That's cute. I like the little bandana painting on the uh, courier. Do I like it $950 worth? Probably not, but it's cute. It looks like they at least put some effort into it. <sighs> and there's that sad little Rambler crossbody, the chalk one with the stripes. That was on the Coach Outlet site forever. I swear it was on there for years. No one wanted it. And still, no one wants it with the rivets on it. That doesn't improve it to be $550 worth. They are just ridiculous. Hampton's Legacy Bag. That looks like something from the year 2006. I am not going to spend $495 on it. Let's see what they did to this to, to warrant that price. They have cherries on it. Oh, they added a different strap. Oh, no. Doesn't, I mean, am I being really too snotty or does that look old? I mean... I have something similar that's old. <clears throat> uh, they gave a little skirt to this turnlock tab crossbody. Now these are cute. I like it when they have the rivets all over something that makes sense, like that black backpack. That's cute. Crossbody with some tea roses. That's cute. These are okay. I think. Oh Lord. <sighs> so they stuck on. <laughs> A little Rexy patch on this Turnlock Tab Messenger, and now they're charging $695 for it. Looks like it also has some little Rexies hanging off the side, and those are pretty desirable, but hmm. No. This is a pouch. Now $550 for a pouch because it has the charms on the front. No. I know a lot of people like whip stitching, so that's okay. They should never try and put a pocket or anything on the front of field totes or any totes. They just, it seems like they don't have a level to use where they can make it straight. Oh, oh boy. See, to me, they've just kind of ruined that rogue. They have too many things on it. What is that? What did they do to it? Uh, it just looks like they hung a bunch of charms off it. Uh, 2300 I need to look at this closer. $2,350. Oh, it's got crocodile on it now. So they put crocodile on the handles, and it appears it's even kind of, well, it looks like they did okay. So you've got crocodile on the handles, and it looks like a crocodile clochette. Uh-uh. No, no, ma'am. I'm not spending $2,350 on that. I'll go to Louis Vuitton and get something actual. <sighs> Another pouch on the front. This one doesn't disgust me as much as it usually does because at least the colors are kind of neutral. These two work. Let's see. Polka dots on a duffel. Hmm. Not for me. And another wristlet stuck to the front of something. Oh, these are sold out. People actually like these enough to buy them. Hmm. Saddlebag has a skirt on it now out of fringe and some flowers. I've seen them put fringe on a lot of upcrafted bags of different sorts. This is kind of nice. Metropolitan soft push lock brief. And they've put some strips of different colors on there. That's kind of nice. That looks like they actually took some time and did something with it. Those are okay. Anything else funny or is this it? Oh, another wristlet on the front of a bag. I could do that myself. Just give me some super glue and I will just glue it on there. <laughs> These are okay too. They look like they kind of took their time and did it nicely. 
but for the prices that they're charging for some of these, it's just not warranted at all <clears throat> because there's not really a, a value with the design they added. This is pretty with the varsity stripes. I like that. A crafted saddlebag. Oh, they're getting real old here. Soft duffel in signature jacquard, which is now $525. <laughs> so old. This has to be one of the things that a customer turned in. Remember how they were accepting those? And they probably gave them $25 credit. And now they're selling it for $525. Oh, it's awful. All they did was put patches on it. Look at the big buckles. Oh, now that one's that one probably wins for my least favorite of all of these. Anything else? Some more little patches and charms on a Cassie. And now the Cassie is $595 because they put charms on the front. Unbelievable. I think that's all I can stomach for today. That looks like I've kind of run into the end of them here. Let's see. I'll give these two second to load. Oh, and you've stuck another rogue handle on top of a crossbody clutch. And now it's $525. See the Portions are all off. I don't want my bag to be the same size as my handle. I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review again of the Coach Upcrafted selections. Seems like they're getting a little bit better for the most part, but there's still some funny ones in there. So I hope you like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.